Hi everyone, so it looks like Ipsy's got a brand new bag. So anyway, this is the box that came in this month. This is our July, our Ipsy, aka Boxy Charm. So the box is really pretty. We've got these kind of ombre colors in here. It looks like we've got like gold and blues, some peaches, some lavenders, a really pretty box. And this could be the glam bag. It could be our Boxy Charm, the icon box, or the refreshments. So anyway, let's open this up. I'm going to take everything out of the package. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you first get it. I have got my add-ons in here as well, so I'll take them out. So we do have this. It's a big crappy piece of paper this time. I'm impressed. Really impressed. And we've got a little flyer in here. So we'll show that a little bit. And this is the box. Remember, I've got my add-ons in here. So let me take these out of the packages and we will be right back. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you guys. So to my viewers, my subscribers, my friends, thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you take a quick second and hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to get to know you guys. Um, going back and forth with our comments. It's just a really nice way to get to know a little bit about each other. Make some really great friends here on YouTube. That is, for me, is the best part of YouTube. Of course, um, your thumbs up really helps my channel grow. Uh, helps that algorithm and gets my YouTube to maybe promote my channels a little bit more. And of course, with your comments, it just helps me so much with my skincare because when it comes to skincare and makeup, you can tell from my face, hashtag Nancy has no idea. And of course, that hashtag Nancy, it's about time you started taking care of your skin really. So anyway, just having so much fun with doing these YouTube movies or whatever that we're doing here, these unboxings of the beauty and skincare items. I'm more into the skincare than makeup. I probably have more makeup than I will ever use in my lifetime, but it's just fun getting to do little pops of color here and there and just learning about skincare and just getting a chance to talk to you guys. So anyway, today is it's actually Saturday night. We're close to Sunday morning. I am hoping to get this uh, finished tonight, get it edited and get it posted tomorrow. Usually Friday nights after I get out of work, um, well, I, I leave my office and I walk down the hall and figure out, okay, what am I going to have for supper? What am I going to wear? What kind of crazy thing am I going to wear? And even though I've already posted my Friday wink or wine diaries for the day, I try to always do another wine diary on Friday night so that I can have it ready for the next Friday. So when I say, hi, it's Friday, it really is. It's just not the Friday that you think it is. Except, you know, sometimes on after Timu Tuesday, I have to do it right after then. Alrighty. So anyway, but last night I took the night off. I just did a little bit of commenting, not too much. And I didn't do any pre-recording or anything. Usually Friday nights, I, I like I said, I always try to do a wine diary. And then I try to do, maybe do one or two more videos, get them edited and scheduled on Saturday and then watch YouTube, do some commenting, watch some videos. And then Sunday, I try to pre-record maybe two or three more. And then I edit those during the week, but then Sunday I get to spend a few hours on YouTube watching videos and commenting. I didn't do that last night. I know, but I had a good reason. So anyway, Friday was actually the anniversary of Rick. And so um, I got him right here next to me and I got the little angel wings that'll be on my tree later. So yeah, it was a six year anniversary for him. So part of um, my tradition is I always have a glass of honey wine on our anniversary type dates, things like that. Because although Rick did not like wine, he wasn't a drinker, um, partially because of the diabetes, partially because he didn't like the taste, but he did love Wine Haven honey wine. So anyway, on those days, I always have a glass of honey wine, make one of his favorite meals. So I had um, I had a jambalaya last night with some shrimp and some sausage, sausage. That was one of his favorites. So I had that with my honey wine and I watched Jaws. Yeah, the original Jaws. So Jaws was um, our first date back in 1975. We went to a pizza place 
in Norton, Massachusetts. And it was, we had um, my first bacon and meatball pizza. I fell in love with it. And then our second date, we went to see Jaws. I know. So I remember seeing that in the theater and just, you know, just being afraid of the water forever after that. But it was just so much fun. And um, same part. So in the movie, I, I know everybody knows Jaws. But anyway, so Ben Gardner's boat when they come across it. And he, Rich, Richard Dreyfus goes underneath Matt Hooper and sees the, the hole in the bottom of the boat. And he takes out that big shark's tooth. And then... Ben Gardner's head comes out of the boat, freaks him out. Uh, so when that happened in the movie, boom, Rick was out of there. He went running down the hallway, needed to have a smoke. Yeah, he was a smoker back then, smoker at the end. But anyway, so yeah, left to have a cigarette. Went to see the movie again. A couple of weeks later, we took his sister that had wanted to see it. So we took his younger sister out same part in the movie and i thought he was going to be good we were holding each other's hands the head fell out of the boat boom he runs out of the theater needed another cigarette so anyway last night when that part came i held up my glass of wine and said rick you can't go running now yeah you have to stay and watch this with me so yes yeah, so we watched uh jazz last night uh today i already watched wild hogs that's another part of my tradition that i celebrate rick with and then tomorrow i will do um storm of the century by stephen king so those were our three favorite movies and so on special occasions i watch them i usually try to watch them all three but i still want to try to do youtube in between so i, I figured it was the weekend i was going to split it up so anyway that's why i didn't do it last night probably not that you care too much but that's that's why i'm going to try to get this done today so anyway i already opened up the box of uh, the boxy charm and we had this little pamphlet that came with it and of course maybe some of you were thinking oh wow maybe we're going to get the items that are in a box yeah that didn't happen but anyway they did happen to show that they were going to be doing this smashbox edit and it's uh, already for sale on their website. So it's probably those items that you see there pictured. And it was available for sale on the 13th. They say the value is $164. And the price for Ipsy subscribers is $49.99. So if you like Smashbox or you wanted to try $164 worth of products for $49.99, try to get it before they run out. Alrighty. So for BoxyCharm cost $28 a month. Uh, they say the value is up to $200. They pick out two items for you and you get to pick out three. Now you don't get to pick out from the whole vast library of items that they have. They kind of pick a small selection for you to choose from, probably based on your age, your skincare needs, or your coloring, things like that, or however you answered your questionnaire. But we all know that we put down things that we never want to receive and we get them in every box. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's basically how it goes. So again, $28, five full-size products, value up to $200. Alrighty. So this first item that they picked for me is a palette, which they don't always pick palettes for me. But anyway, this is by Ciate of London and it's called the Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette. And there are 24 different shades in here. And the palette itself looks exactly like the box. It does have a mirror in here and it does have this color saver. So we will put that color saver off to the side and put this over the mirror so that we can show you these colors without blinding you. It's upside down. Ellie Bo, do you know anybody else besides me? Ellie Bo that uh, holds things upside down. Alrighty, so these are the shades. And it's really, really pretty. At first, when I look at it, I'm, I'm thinking fall, but there are some really nice shades in here that I think you can use seasonless. I, so you got like some mauvey kind of rose gold, maybe some purple. We've got some taupey colors. We've got gold. We've got coppery colors. Looks like an olive green and some white. So I think you can really get some really pretty looks. It's a nice blend of some shimmers and some mattes. The value of this is $45. Alrighty, so it says, looking for your go-to summer palette? Here it is, featuring a range of multitasking shades that effortlessly sculpt, highlight, and define your features. This eyeshadow palette is a must-have 
for a glowy glam. So again, it has some really nice colors, 24 different shades. And again, I think you can use this every season if you want. To me, it's if when I first look at it, like I said, I'm thinking fall, but you know those colors go with the shirt I'm wearing. So yeah, so a nice $45 value to start off. The next item that they picked from me is by Earth Harbor. And I love getting Earth Harbor. They have some nice hair care, some serums. This one is a serum. We can see it's in pretty blue here and it's called Marina and it's a biome brightening ampoule. So this has a value of $38 and it says, let the healing ocean waters and its life-giving nutrients help balance and brighten your complexion when you use this brightening blue serum. It's teeming with spirulina blue tansy and highly concentrated adaptogenic oils that help to nourish and even out your skin tone. It says massage two or more drops into your skin after cleansing and toning. So again, it does have that little eyedropper applicator right there, $38 value. Going to enjoy using that. Alrighty, so next comes the three items that I was able to choose. So the first choice uh, they gave me, choice number one, I had a choice of Skin Incorporated. It's a daily dose of vitamin A, B, and C. So that was a serum. Uh, it was a Verb Ghost Exfoliating Scalp Nectar. Sweet Street, it was a candy paint lip gloss. And then I don't remember what this was, but it was called Neen. It says pretty shiny and met meta. So maybe that was a uh, lip gloss. Um, Origins, out of trouble, 10 minute mask to rescue problem skin. And the item that I picked was by Pure Lease. So I love Pure Lease, their sheet mask and the cleanses. This one is an exfoliator. And it's Dragon Fruit and Niacinamide Exfoliator. So strengthens, boosts, radiance, improves texture. So this has a value of $35. And it says this exfoliator is packed with powerful ingredients like dragon fruit and niacinamide that work together to enhance your natural glow and help improve the overall health of your skin. Not only does it gently exfoliate away exfoliate away dead cells it strengthens your skin's barrier to fight against signs of aging i need to help that so it says after cleansing supply an even apply an even layer over your face and let it sit for about 10 minutes then activate the exfoliating particles by gently rubbing with water and rinse to remove so again this had a value of $35. The next item that I was able to pick, they gave me a cho choice of five products. So I had uh, Will People. It's a revitalizing dew snow mushroom eye gel cream. That sounded kind of scary. Uh, next, Ahava, a 24 karat gold mineral mud mask. We had Shania B. Miami, a cream bronzer and beach babe. We had uh, eye mask, Sweet Dreams Collagen Glow Gold Eye Mask. And of course, I just got some, so I passed on those. And the item that I got was by Ace Beauté. And it's Seal It. And it is a setting spray. And this had a value of $28. So uh, it says, ready to seal the deal. This weightless setting spray is here to keep your look on lock from sun up to sundown. This refreshing formula won't make you feel sticky. It just delivers a perfect finish that lasts all day. And again, this added value of $28. Alrighty, so my next one uh, for choice number three, we had a lucky chick. It's a leap, lip and cheek, a multi-stick in lucky days. We had a lip balm from Misho Beauty. We had uh, Beauty Sponges by Estate Cosmetics. We had a uh, Reina Rebetal, a bold lip color stick in Davina. A brow gel in Claire by Wingme Cosmetics. 
and the item that I picked was these masks. And these are ID Arizona. There's a three mask in here at a value of $39. And it says gold and honey are the ultimate power couple in this mask, working together to help brighten and nourish your skin. But the ingredient list doesn't stop there. With soothing aloe vera, brightening pomegranate, and glow-giving ginseng, this mask is seriously powerful helping to leave your skin looking plump and luminous. It says smooth the sheet mask over your face and leave on for at least 10 minutes. Then remove and tap the remaining serum into your skin. So that was the five items that came in my BoxyCharm. So next we picked, uh, have the items that I put in my add-on. So this first one was a hyaluronic acid, came in this pretty baby blue box and we've got like this frosted glass right here so it's real real pretty and then again this pretty blue cap and this is by Laneige it's a water bank blue hyaluronic re revitalizing toner this has a value of $31 and I got it for $12 so it says packed with a power of blue hyaluronic acid which is like regular hyaluronic acid's cooler, more activated cousin. This toner gives your skin the hydration it craves. It's like a soothing hug for your face that helps your other skincare products work their magic even better. It says gently pat the toner into your skin morning and evening after cleansing. Alrighty, so for our $12 for a $31 value, yes please. So next I got one of these little hair towels and it's by Palm Ello. And these towels, I have no idea how we lived for years putting a big bath towel over our head, rubbing our hair to try to get the excess water and moisture out and then trying to wrap the towel around our head and having it fall all over the place. These things are like the greatest invention since sliced bread. Alrighty, okay, maybe not that good. But anyway, so this has a value of $30. It's by Palm Alo and Company Hair Up Accessory Towel. And uh, on the add-on shop, it was $3.50. So this says, this is a sign to stop using regular towels to dry your hair and instead treat your strands to antibacterial, antibacterial hair towel. It's next level soft thanks to bamboo carbon fibers that are added into the fabric and super absorbent, making this the perfect accessory to dry your hair quickly and minimize oil and frizz. Love these. And again, you put it on over the crown of your head, put your hair in here, you know, while you're upside down, wrap it around a little bit. It's got this little button right here, this little thing right here to tie it in place and you are good to go. I love, love, love using these. They do wear out after washing and drying a few times, so you do need to replace them. So for three dollars fifty cents, I thought that was really good. Next, we had Bobby Brown. Now, for years, call me crazy. I thought this Bobby Brown cosmetic line was Bobby Brown. You know, the rap type singer. Yeah, from years and years ago, the one that was married to Whitney Houston. Turns out, I happened to catch uh, QVC a couple of months ago. Bobby Brown was on. That's a beautiful lady. It's not the singer at all. Alrighty. So anyway, this lip color that I got looks so much different online than it is in person. I think it's a little dark, but we'll figure it out later. So again, this is a Bobbi Brown. It's this crushed lip color. And it's in buff. And again, on my monitor, it was like a really, really blush, kind of pink, beige, look it looked like it was really going to be perfect for me but i think it's going to be too dark i'm not sure i mean it may not go on as dark as that and you know maybe that's really what my lip color is and i just have no idea Hashtag. so anyway so this is what it looks like this had a value of 32 dollars and on the add-on site it was for 12 dollars so anyway, it's, of course, it's full-size lipstick. It says, get the look of a satin matte lipstick with the feel of a lip balm for your most wearable everyday lip. The formula is loaded with long-lasting pinky beige pigments 
and lip loving ingredients like castor seed oil and beeswax for the ultimate swipe and go look that lasts all day so for the three add-ons that I got, their value was $93. I paid $27.50. For the BoxyCharm itself, my I paid $28. And the value of my box was $185. So anyway, just going to do a quick little wrap-up. My three add-ons were this nice little hair towel, this beautiful toner, and Bobby Brown, the lady, not the rap singer lipstick. The items that I got in my box were the Ciate of London, this eyeshadow palette, the Purelice exfoliator. We got the setting spray by Seal It. We got these three masks here, these gold masks, and the Earth Harbor, the Ampoule Serum to use. So anyway, it's a great box this month. I'm happy with everything that I received. I hope you guys got a great box as well. And again, your comments are always appreciated. I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you hadn't, if you haven't already. And just thanks so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous Sunday. Enjoy next week. I hope your work week goes by issue free if you're on vacation enjoy so anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video bye bye